Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give you a quick overview on how to play our Planetary Order online math game. The uh, particular version we'll be looking at is the whole numbers version, but we all will also have an absolute value version out as well as decimal, fraction, and integers uh, version out. And the integers version, of course, will have positive and negative numbers. So uh, when you first start the game, well, let me say this first. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games, puzzle games to play the online, as well as teaching tools to use, and everything is always free to use and play, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, let's take a look at the game. Now, the, when you start the game, this is the main menu. You'll see this, like I said, this is a whole number numbers version um, but all the other games will play very similar with the exception of instead of having whole numbers they may have negative numbers or fractions or absolute values stuff like that okay so if you click the more games button here that will take you to our sister site lofgames.com they have lots of free math and puzzle games and it's the same thing everything's free to play and use and there's ever never any membership or sign up required the video button will take you to um, the page on Math Nook that has this video in case you'd like to see it again. And I'm going to go ahead and click the instructions button. I'm not going to go with instructions, but what I do want to show you is the clear data button. If you click that, it's, it'll actually want to clear all the data. What that's referring to is the high scores, uh, scores that are saved. Um, and you might want to do that in, if uh, somebody else has been playing on it and you want to kind of have your own high score. Or you just really want to start over again. You would go ahead and click yes, and it'll reset the high score back to zero. The play button will take you to the game. I'm sorry, will take you to the next menu where you'll choose the different modes. And I'll show you what the differences are, but really... Um, the difference is, is the planet that you're launching from will spin faster in the uh, expert mode than in the advanced mode and in the beginner mode. I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and click beginner. And here's your spaceship, your score zero, and I cleared out the, high, the best score, so high score is zero, levels one, mode is beginner. Uh, you toggle the music on and off here. The sound on and off here, but I have the sound off now, so you can't really hear it anyways. I have it off on my PC. The uh, menu button will take you back to the main menu. So the object of each level is to land on the smallest planet and then move to the next uh, the, the planet that's smaller. After that one goes away and so on until you uh, have landed on all the planets. There's pretty good gravity field around these planets. So you really don't have to be exact. You try to, but, you know, even if you're not, and you're going to see that when I play because I'm not all that good sometimes. Okay, so anyways, so the order you would land would be 1 is the smallest of all the numbers, then 2, then 4, and then 12. So you're going to go ahead, and I'll go ahead and try to land at 1. When he's pointing towards it, I just click, and you see the gravity takes hold, and he does a safe landing there. And I'm going to go over to 2. I'm probably miss a four, which is quite a ways off. Um, but like I said, you don't have to be exact; just pretty, pretty close. That should do it. Let's see. The gravity should take hold of it. There you go. So I wasn't really exact on that, but I still hit it, and I get to go on and go to the last planet. And it tells me that I level up, and I get to start again. Now, if I go to, so looking at these numbers. 10 is the smallest, and that's probably the one I want to go to. Well, it is the one I want to go to, but say if I go to 20 instead, it's going to say, you know, that I went to planet 20, and really I should have gone to planet 10. So I can start again, and if I go ahead and click off there, it says, oops, you needed to go to planet 1, and it shows me where planet 1 was. So really, that's how you play it. It's fairly simple. Uh, again, the different versions will have values, either fraction values or decimals, and you'll have to go from the smallest to the largest. But, um, so that, but they basically play all the same. I'm going to go ahead and go to the main menu, and I'll show you the expert mode. And you see the, the, that's spinning quite a bit faster. All the planets are. So when I land on those, that'll be spinning fast too. Let's go ahead and see if I can hit 7. Because... Yeah, that's good. Because of the gravity, it's not too bad. Uh, but anyways, it's a little bit harder. And, and the high scores are kept separate. This is 25. I think the other score, if we go back, 
high school and the beginner mode was 105. So those are all kept separate. But when you clear them, it clears all the high scores. So anyways, that's how you play the game. I hope you have uh, fun playing the game. Um, hope the videos help some, and thanks for watching.